previously on Now or Never. The three batteries. <laughs> yeah. Put it on. Looks good. Feels really solid. There, Lucy. Lucy. All right, so I'm gonna need your help to lift it, and we have to set it down properly. Yours on the, uh, yeah, on the wood. Oh man. We totally forgot to undo the cabling underneath. You can still get to it, can't you? Can you? If you have those clippers, I can just reach under and clip it. 11 minutes later. So this is as far as it goes, is that okay? That's fine. I okay. just need the other cable. The other cable, right. You see it? Yeah, I see it. I almost got it. Push again. Right, right there. Got it. Push yep, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, so let's not do that again. Nope. That's sick. We got two on. We're doing the third right now. Sorry, this is boring. It's now morning. We have to continue the job of the solar panels. We got four solar panels up there right now. Bah. The side hinges that are coming for the sides right here to fit are coming today. That means that we should be able to get the solar panels completely mounted. Also, what's arriving today is the, the little hole thingy that goes on the side of the bus where the wires can feed through and it's waterproof. But right now, I just need to finish mounting the rest of these solar panels right there. tip so far over the course of building this bus that I've realized is that you want to save every bolt, every screw, everything that comes out of this bus because you don't know when you'll be able to use it. So all of these bolts right here are what I'm using for the solar panels. These things are beastie. These things are so beefy. These ones are actually the ones that I took out the side paneling of the bus. If you're starting your schoolie build, make sure you save them. And I would also recommend using these guys for the solar panels instead of the ones that they send you. All right, just finished six panels. The two right there. I gotta put the other two up here. This is really time consuming. That is it. They are mounted. This is kind of awkward a little bit because these are a little bit higher than those ones. I don't know if it's gonna cause an issue because all of them are gonna be connected to the metal frame. We'll see. I'm gonna line these with the same stuff that I did on those guys, the little gray adhesive. So I'm gonna do line all of these hinges or all of these brackets with that. And then I need to go around and connect these two. Uh, those two are connected, those two. So I just need to connect these two and these two, and then I have an extension cable coming to run across this way. Sick, dude. I am so unbelievably happy that I got this done. So now um, is all the wiring and all that stuff. Much, much later.
One hour later. Yeah, take all three of these off. I have to take that one off too. Dang it! Now we have a flat spot to put the wood. I don't know if this will even adhere to wood, but we'll see. Uh. I mean, yeah, it's not going to. I'm just gonna spray it with this. That'll be the bottom. The metal that I ended up welding just, it didn't work properly with the angle of the bus. So no surprise there. None of my projects ever go as planned. So these are gonna be mounted to the side of the roof of the bus to help support the solar panels. Right now we're just spraying these with spar urethane to make sure that the bottom is moisture resistant. We still have all that black paint. You want me to just paint them? Yeah, I probably will. A few moments later. It's not completely dry, but as long as it dries on the bus, it's fine. It's gonna be outdoors. And we're gonna start mounting this guy and then we're gonna paint it afterwards. See how there's two rivets? Yeah, yeah. Put a dot on the rivet line. Just toss it. <laughs> okay. Give it some gusto. Huh? I'm scared. I don't wanna hurt my other hand. Did you see more? Yeah, I think that's too high right there. Does that go in too easy? Is it in line with the rivets? Yeah, I think so. It's a little bit out of line. Yeah, see, it's supposed to be on the right a little bit. Where's the other one? Right oh, here. yeah, that's way too. No, that's not going to work. What's too short? Well, I don't know. You're the one that marked the pieces. I don't know. I'm blind as a bat, man. Okay, do you have some excess room? Yeah. Okay. Are your holes lined up? No, this is too over. Okay, move it to where it is in line. A few inches later. Mark yours to the best of ability. You need glasses. <laughs> Can't eyeball your way through building a bus. <laughs> okay, you're good? Yeah, you good? You gotta it. hold it though. Oh. <sighs> we were debating between two different wallpapers and everyone chose the green geometric like zigzags. However, <laughs> we were so torn until everyone chose that one and then we were like, what the fuck do we want that one? Get off the box, man. Let's just go with the yellow. <laughs> That's the so I went with the one that you guys didn't choose. <laughs> We like to be rebels like that. But it's actually really nice. With the gray, I think it's gonna look really good. Wait, go back up there. It's a nice texture. It almost feels like cloth. It looks so good. It does look really good. It looks like a nice little picture. Mm -hmm. I like it with the gray a lot. coming off, of course. Yeah. What do we want to do right here? Black? Black on everything. What do you think of the wallpaper? I think it looks really good. Yeah? I just finished pretty much the one side of uh, mounting the solar panels. Uh-huh. And I'm pretty positive we could go through a tornado and those things would be flying. Really? Yeah. That was very Dope. exciting. Yeah. These things are not flying off whatsoever. Dope. You know how, like, we have an ounce that this thing will fall apart? Yeah. I have zero ounces. <laughs> Uh, the solar panels will fall off. <laughs> this, not so much. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Honestly, this trailer's not that big to the point where it's gonna like completely fall over. I'm just worried about like I mean, high plus? speed winds because yeah. we, like California and Vegas, they get some high speed winds, but nowhere near like other states. We'll only know <laughs> until we out. get it in those conditions, you know? I guess. One of y'all lost a screw for the front remember we can't find that screw for the oh front yeah handle. it's when we move stuff i had it in a nice little box in here i don't know what to tell you sorry about it sorry about it I'm really regretting putting the door thing on this thing that retracts like it did. Yeah, it's annoying. So, much. <laughs> so annoying. All right, I'm gonna sign off. We decided to take the black railings off because the paint job that we're gonna end up getting is gonna be a lot cheaper and a lot easier to do that when this rail isn't there. So we used uh, the product Steel Stick to fill in the little holes and such, um, and then we're gonna end up grinding them down. All right, cool. Sick. All right, now sushi.